answered you, I don't know how, and, and thanked them so much. We got our car back fairly quickly. Um, within a couple of hours after the storm, not to mention, ironically, these hey, folks. tornadoes to the My K-7 here. Coastal the, the radio about the tornadoes that hit. As you can see on my morning commute here, there really isn't uh, any damage at all in my neighborhood. A couple of downed tree limbs from some regular winds, but there was no um, no tornado in my neighborhood, thank God. So I just wanted to give you all an update on what's going on with me here. Uh, as you know, uh, on April 16th, there was a huge storm that rolled through the entire south and southeast. And that line you can see marching toward us, it's pretty ominous really. Because there's nothing you can do about it, you know, it's coming. So, and the, uh, the cool part was, for me anyway, and just for me, the uh, line of storms as it passed over my area, there was a, a massive storm to my north and a massive storm to myself, but right where I was uh, in the immediate vicinity, there was really nothing, just a couple of drops, raindrops. Just five miles away, devastation. So it very easily could have been my neighborhood. A couple of years ago, actually, a tornado went right over my house, but it wasn't powerful, thank God. But I was on the front porch with my motorcycle helmet on, and <laughs> my, my jacket, as if that would have helped, right? I had my dogs in the bathroom, I would have run inside if I had, you know, time. Probably wouldn't have had time, but anyway. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, so, thank goodness. And uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to the people who uh, have been affected by this. Uh, about 400 and something homes have been damaged or destroyed. And uh, 22 people right now, as of this morning, are reported killed by the tornadoes. We had something like 63 tornadoes on that day, it was terrible. So, uh, all right, there's that. Uh, you haven't seen any videos for me because I have not been riding. Uh, I still have my bike, and uh, that's still a question mark. The bike is still insured and still registered. So, uh, let's, let's just put, put this as a question mark issue. My leg, well, I know you can't see it, but there you go. My leg <laughs> hurts all the time. Uh, it hurts to walk. I still limp sometimes really severely. Uh, even when I'm sitting down, laying down, it hurts all the time. So, uh, haven't really been exercising. You can probably tell by the double chin. Um, that stinks. And, you know, life has been just kind of work and work and work and work and work and sleep and work and sleep. And that stinks. I don't know when I'll be feeling better. And I'm, you know, hopeful that it'll get better at some point. Uh, they had to dislocate my knee when they were uh, doing the operation so they could put the metal rod down inside my tibia. And uh, that dislocation is now causing me a lot of pain. I have a lot of pain in my upper tibia right below my knee. Ugh, oh, stinks. So, knee and ankle, both, really killing me. The place where my bone actually broke, which is the lower tibia, doesn't hurt at all. It's everywhere else. Ironic, isn't it? So, uh, that's that. Uh, I'm still working, I'm still teaching. And uh, that's going all right. I've been sick the past couple weeks. But, I'm still going to work, I'm still doing my thing. Any other good news? I have a video of me eating this really hot ice cream uh, from Sunny Skies. Maybe I'll throw that in here somewhere. Uh, I had uh, my friend over to visit, and she likes hot stuff. So we went down to Sunny Skies, and they have two levels of ice cream. One is the uh, cold sweat. And if you can eat a whole teaspoon of the cold sweat, then they'll let you try the exit wound. And so my friend uh, did that. She had uh, the cold sweat first, and they even put a full chili pepper on top of the spoon, frozen chili pepper. So she ate all that, and then uh, came the exit wound, and she, by that time, she her mouth had been burned out, so she just had a little taste of it and said, yeah, too much. So they gave the little little teeny-weeny teaspoon to me, or I, I took it from her, 
and uh, I, I stuck it in there. You'll see the video. What's that one? Um, <laughs> it's the same thing. Hey, that one, this one don't have habaneros. It just has tiger. Man, that cannot be good for your stomach. <laughs> and, 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 uh, <laughs> I tried it. And I was sick for like three days. You were sick for three days. I mean, me. I mean, I got a weak stomach. You don't have uh, to do it. I would. I would not taste it just to get a little yeah, flavor of it. Just a little. See what you, oh, wow. see what you think. She put that in her face. Ain't that better than another? Oh, <laughs> it's really good. I told you. But I'm, I'm not going to go for it. Oh my God. <laughs> Since I signed, I'm going to take a look. You do have a brain. <laughs> <laughs> I just need All right. that. Right. Yeah, come uh, on, man. Oh, 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 my God. Come, come on. on. Don't do it. It's really hot. <laughs> It looks sad. <laughs> He's crying behind those shades. Watch him. You know that's bitter. like, man. You know that's like jumping into the uh, into like 40 degree water. Yeah, that's either, bitter. Either going to bitter. That's or... intense. That's intense. You need that, dude. Yeah. Put those back on. Y'all gonna have bad memories of y'all's ice cream. I'm enjoying mine. All right, Monique, if you don't mind, I'm going to grab a spoonful of your ice cream in a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. That tongue will be on fire. All right, here. It's not that bad, actually. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm disappointed. I will lick that spoon. All right. I'm not going to eat that pepper, though. What? It was not bad. Yeah, yeah, well, my, maybe my after the first one, it was just, yeah, yeah. just too much. I think the first one is actually worse than the second one. Because <laughs> I've had the first before, and that messed me up. But this stuff. Did you eat half of a freaking habanero with a pepper stuffed in the middle? It's not delightful. <laughs> <laughs> it just lingers on like, Forever. like an STD. I got a sister in law. Yeah. Well, this is very good. That cannot be good for you. Was it hot? It's pretty hot. It's doing in my eyes. So uh, that was the excitement from then. I survived the exit wound. Any other, anything else here? Let me see. Look at the balloon. Balloon. Good. Wife's still out of work. Can you believe that? Wife is still out of work. Damn. She got a tax doing gig thing. She went to this training and she did some taxes. And it gets paid a minimum wage almost. It's pathetic. And it's not even close to full time. It's like four hours here, four hours there. And uh, it's just like the lowest form of life in terms of work. And it barely, you know, does anything to contribute. But hey, you know, she's trying, she's doing something. Uh, still looking for jobs, of course. Sending out resumes every day. That's her, her full-time job is looking for a job now. Uh, the economy here is still pretty crappy, as I imagine it is most places. And anything else? Uh, summer plans. I don't know. Maybe, uh, if possible, I'd like to get up to Milwaukee this summer. Uh, a friend of mine lives up there. We might drive up if there's enough money to, for gas and whatnot. It's, drive up to visit and uh, you know <laughs> you know if I go up to Milwaukee I will definitely hit the Harley Museum oh yeah uh, so there's that oh uh, gun thing I, I uh, now am uh, licensed to carry concealed <laughs> uh, not really carrying concealed uh, but now I can buy guns more easily if I go to a gun shop I don't have to first go down to the Wake County Sheriff and make an application for a gun purchasing permit and then wait two weeks and then come back. I mean, pain in the butt. Now I can just go down, plop down my thing, and I guess it's maybe a seven day period. I don't even know how it is anymore, but I don't have to go down to Wake County Sheriff anymore just to buy a gun, which is good. And uh, I can carry concealed, not that I do, but I can, and I might be. <laughs> I haven't really been shooting much because it's expensive. There's uh, no money to shoot, but I'm trying to reload. I'm slowly gathering my supplies and knowledge. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes if I start reloading. And here I come. Old familiar view. I'm sorry that I'm sending this to you from a cage. I wish I had my motorcycle and my helmet and all that, but oh well. 
So, Mike Kaley 7 here, hoping that you guys are doing well, and uh, I'll talk to you later. At this point, I'd be from Brumming on the motorcycle. From Vroom. Vroom Vroom.